Hey all, doing a little something different today. You know I'm a mountain guy. You know I like my mountains and peace and quiet and nature and beast of the forest. Well I'm doing something different today. Interstate 205 that goes around Portland, the bypass on the east side of the of Portland Metro. There's a little section in between the north and southbound that I keep looking at like, man, I wonder if I can walk there or ride a bike there because it is some of the best views of the whole Portland area of Mount Hood, Columbia River, the gorge, just beauty. It's a little hazy today because it's hot. It's been like 105, 110 yesterday and today they got like 100, 203. But I'm, gonna, I'm doing it anyway couple miles I've walked already to get here but if you can hear all that traffic behind me that's interstate 205 and I'm about ready to walk right in between northbound and southbound it is going to be somewhat annoying because I don't like noise have that uh, sentry overload issue especially just coming off the trail of Appalachian a few weeks ago so gonna see what it is see hopefully get some really good views and hopefully it doesn't drive me too crazy here goes nothing Woo! Okay, I was wrong. That noise you heard was not Interstate 205. That was State Route 14, or maybe US Route 14. I'm not sure, but uh, it's a busy road too, just like an interstate, pretty much. But right there is the interstate. So this wraps around, then goes up underneath that, and then walks right in between northbound, southbound. So that's going to be a little busier. Uh, but right there's the signs to get on 205. That's how I realized. I was not quite the 205 yet, so it's going to be interesting and noisy.
the haze is where Mount Hood is. You can't see it very well. You see the base of it a little bit. But on a clear day, that looks like paradise. That's the Columbia River. Wow, what a trip. So you come off of that bridge, kind of do a little loop to the left, and then it crosses over here, going over another road, basically where the airport uh, road is. I'm not sure what the name of that road is, but here it is. It's called a shared use path. It's about 18 miles long, connecting Vancouver, Washington to the east side of Portland, kind of like where uh, Oh, Clackamas is, I guess. Uh, but this is like two mile mark. And I walked a couple miles uh, from where I started to get to that path. But what a trip. Eight lanes of cars going 50 to 90 miles an hour on both sides of you. Extreme volume, extreme loud. And, oh, that, and here's another bike path, I guess, that goes off to the left. So pretty cool that they have all these bike paths here. I'm obviously not on a bike. I'm walking it. But a uh, couple reasons I wanted to see the views from there because, you know, I've passed over that Columbia River quite a few times in my life and uh, thought, man, it'd be really cool to see those views walking two or three miles an hour. <laughs> so uh, then I found out there was a place you could do that. So at first chance, I did it. And that was today. So pretty cool. Uh, but also I wanted to, because if you know anything about me, I pushed myself. And one thing I have a lot of problems with is uh, in my older age, obviously I was a musician most of my life, a lot of, uh, a lot of loud music in my life, uh, in concerts and such, and uh, you know, in the studio, blasting it through the headphones, mixing and mastering and so forth. And uh, done some damage to my ears. Uh, so I have tinnitus going on in there. But it's not just hearing, it's pretty much all senses because of other health issues that I had along the way that I just have a very big sensory overload problem. And uh, especially, uh, you know, with those health problems and then being out in the forest and climbing the mountains all the time, peace and quiet, it's where my serenity is, it's where my peace is. Uh, and uh, I kind of wanted to go the opposite direction today, just to push it to the limits because what that does, at least for me, I know a lot of people won't have a problem with that, but it causes a lot of issues with me. And um, I knew it would cause me to have 100% focus. Focus on the goal, focus on crossing over, focus on seeing the beautiful views, and not focusing on the loud cars zipping by me, sometimes up to 80 and 90 miles an hour. So all in all, a lot of joy going on in me right now because I faced that and uh, 
push through it and uh, it didn't affect me near as much as what it normally would. So it's a good training for me to push through all obstacles that would normally cause those over sensory overload issues to happen, uh, which, you know, next time I'm out in the forest and on the mountains, which will be soon, <laughs> it'll be even more peaceful and quiet. So, uh, all right, I'm going to continue on for a couple more miles and see what it has to offer. It's warm out here, but I'm taking it well. Getting a nice chance to get some sun, even though it's real hazy today. I love my vitamin D, so uh, going to continue on for a couple miles and uh, see you all in the next video. And remember, doesn't matter what you're doing, just get out there and live life.